that I've had, I've been able to meet a lot of people who've mastered what I call the art of hustle. How they push themselves to not let a single opportunity pass. You know the saying, I can sleep when I'm in the upper room. <laughs> My first guest is a woman who inspired me to hustle and never give up on a chance to really make a dream come true. Singer, songwriter, Melissa Etheridge. Yeah. I mean, Melissa just sold out her first off-Broadway show. It's called My Window, A Journey Through Life. A packed house came to see Melissa tell her truth and life through her music. Now, Melissa has, of course, won an Oscar, two Grammys. She's got a hit. The hits that just keep on coming. I need to wake up. Ain't it heavy? And come to my window. And now on a new stage, she is winning even more hearts with reviews praising her dry sense of humor, her staggeringly beautiful renditions. They cannot stop talking about Melissa. Take a look. Thank you so much. How does it feel to be up oh. there? One woman show. I mean, is it, how does it feel different from a concert? It's really different. Concerts are like I, I, I make a different set list every night. I go in and it's like, we're going to just have a blast. Right. You know, we're going to, I'm going to lift you up and would sing this song and that song. And just my whole idea is to keep people up and entertain this. Totally different. This is, sit down, I'm going to tell you something. Oh. And I start from the very beginning, and I, a lot of my, I mean, I love to storytell. I love to talk. I'm from the Midwest. We just, <laughs> you know, and, and so I just, it, it starts, you know, from the very beginning. It just goes all the way through, and it just gets bigger and bigger, and, and it's totally different. And boy, people on Broadway work very hard. Harder you, than the rock star world? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> It's like all, like all day long. It's crazy. It's, it's great. I mean, lots of, you get stuff done. Yeah. I'll tell you, so full disclosure, my husband is a producer on the yeah. show, yeah. and he adores you so much, and he came home after one of the rehearsals crying because he knew what this meant for you oh, yeah. to have this. Why, why was it so important at this point in your life to do this type of show? Well, it's very healing. I've, I've been open most of my life. To, I decided a long time ago it's, easier to just walk in my truth than mm. try to hide something or be something I'm not. And the more I did that, the the better I felt, the stronger I felt. And, and even my songs were, you know, confessional and stuff like that. But lately, the last, you know, after going through cancer and then and then loss of my son to, um, you know, an opioid addiction, that was like, okay, this, this is, this, if, if I don't find a way to artistically cathartically deal with this because that's what my music is for me it's like you know i go through a breakup and i sing about it now you know i can laugh about it it's all good and it you know i can't laugh about you know some things yet but it's a way to let it out and share also share because there are there are hundreds and thousands and thousands of people families you know groups of people loved ones who go through this yeah. all the time, well, the that's loss. The power and... of a show like that, and this even with this show, we want people to know that they're not alone. Yeah. And I remember, as I said, I love so much about your, your hustle, and what I mean by that is just people who just have a drive, right? And you have that, but how do you have the drive when you're driving past hurt? Right. And so we were in the pandemic and we were trying to book guests on the show. People didn't even want to show up on Zoom because they're dealing with so much. And you were dealing with a global pandemic, but a life pandemic because you lost your child. Mm -hmm. And 
you showed up for us. And I thought, how? I, Moses was a tiny, he's three, but he was even younger than And I yeah. thought, this woman, how is she doing concerts from her garage for other people three nights, you know, three days a week you were doing these great concerts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was September 18th, 2020. You're doing garage concerts, grieving, and also dealing with the same things that the rest of us are dealing with. Well, the, the garage concerts healed me greatly because uh, one of the things is, is losing him during a pandemic, we couldn't have a funeral. We couldn't kind of have closure. And so I was just kind of dangling there with my you know heart and my guts, you know, hanging out. So it was like, I need to do something. And I... I like I said, singing and performing is so healing to me, so healing. Is that it out of body? So I always look at you at this moment and I'm thinking, yeah. is she thinking about anything else in the world other than that song? No, it's it's yeah. it's it's so in the moment. I mean, th and this literally is my garage. And so we, my wife and I went there, we cleaned the garage. First of all, it was, it was very cathartic. <laughs> you try doing that sometime. And we cleaned it. Then we put all these things up. We went and found them. I found like that old guitar case and and you know all this stuff that and that was healing, kind of bringing me back into look. I've lived this life. Yeah. I've gotten through things and and you know just just then singing. I, you know I can't explain. I mean people some people running makes yeah. them feel that way. Some people who knows you know what what it is that lifts you up. But yeah. my son wouldn't want me to be weighed down with, with guilt or shame. My son would not want me to be unhappy because, you know, the the first morning after his death, we used to text all the time. It was like every day, all day long, pretty much. He was really in contact with me. And I woke up and, and as I was just starting to wake up, I just saw this vision of a text from him that just said, no pain. It was like, he's telling me, look, I'm out of pain now. So, for me to, to be in pain or, or, or stifle myself with that would not serve him, you know? That's not, that's not what he wanted. He, he wanted to be out of pain, and he certainly doesn't want me to be in pain. That's why this show, the, that Off-Broadway show, is the right time for you to do it. When we come back more with Melissa on her Off-Broadway show, and I want to know what her first job was. Don't answer. What first paycheck Melissa Etheridge ever got? Uh-oh. <laughs>